story that we often use to illustrate discipleship, believe it or not. So you know, in the Gospels it says that a disciple will fully train to like his master. Because discipleship is essentially the art of imitation. On one occasion, a certain, uh, a certain disciple Previous followed there. his rabbi into the privy. And when he came back out, the other disciples accosted him and said, What are you doing? Follow, follow the rabbi into the, into the privy. And he said, Hey! It was a matter of Torah. In other words, he wanted to go in and find out how his master used the privy so that he could be just like his master. But we find our master, on one occasion, in a situation where it looks like he's in the privy with his disciples, if it's permitted to say so. And that is Mark chapter 7, where he's, it says, they said, um, you know, he, he gave the, the teaching about uh, the eating bread with unwashed hands. It's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a man, uh, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and his disciples said, explain the parable to us. He says, they went into the house. Now, this could be Peter's house on the one hand. But on the other hand, it could have been the privy house as well, because what he then says is, whatever goes into a man passes through him and goes out the other end. But what comes from within a man, such as evil speech, bitterness, uh, unclean thoughts, these defile the heart. This is a teaching of Yeshua that relates to privy. So, yes, there's many privy stories. It's fascinating that in the ancient world, they had to use the back. <laughs> Thank you. 